Welcome to A Drink of Wisdom. Jay Wise, Nathan Drinkard, I'm your host, Cody Ward. Thanks for spending some of your time with us tonight. What's going on, guys? Let's talk some sports, baby! This is A Drink of Wisdom. guys let's stay out west in the nba the other los angeles team is gearing up for quite a big weekend lebron ad and company are set for two monster matchups starting tonight at 10 30 when they host the milwaukee bucks at the staples center matchup could easily be an nba finals preview and the lakers will be looking to avenge their 111 104 loss from last time then sunday the lakers take on the clippers another team they've yet to best and could easily have to face in the western conference finals so, Drink, tell us this. Which game is more important to the Lakers, the Bucks game or the Clippers game? Ooh, that is a tough – man, it's tougher than a $2 state. But, look, here, here we go. I'm going to tell you like this. Um, it's going to be the Clippers, man. Uh, that better – that better of L.A. Um, ever since Kawhi and Don the Clippers jersey, it's been pretty much, you know, Kawhi versus LeBron for all the intents and purposes. That's the game that matters. They can go out and beat the Bucks by like 30, which we will be impressed as NBA fans. But they go lose to the Clippers, it don't matter. You you have yet to beat them. And that was when the team was all crippled with handicap signs. And now that they helped it, we you know, we definitely want to see what you're gonna do against them. And if you go out here and get beat like a drawn by the Clippers, it it's for not like you it would be very hard for the Lakers to convince fans that they can beat the Clippers in a seven game series unless they go out here and show a little face on Sunday. Now, I'm not saying if they beat them on Sunday, now we we're convinced, boom, the Lakers can hang in now. But it would give you a little hope as a Laker fan, like, okay, well, maybe it won't be so ugly. Maybe they won't get swept. Maybe they win too. Who knows? It goes seven. I don't know. And but not to say that the Bucks game don't matter. It definitely matters because let's talk about the storyline of that game a little bit. MVP, number one guy, uh, Giannis, the Greek, the, Greek, ah, the Greek freak. And then the number two guy is LeBron. So LeBron out here selling that lip service that everybody talking about, hey, regular season MVPs never motivate me. Being the, the greatest of all time motivate me. Man, please, that's faker than your hairline on some game nights. We don't want to hear that, LeBron. You know doggone well uh, to win that MVP. You know it because it's very unprecedented of a player that's in your spot in his NBA career to go win the MVP. So knock it off talking about you ain't motivated by winning. I bet you ain't going to come out here and just throw up a stinker. I bet you that. So don't, don't talk about you ain't motivated to win. But – the game, because of the day the game is getting played and what's coming behind it, yeah, it does lose a little steam because of that. I, for one, I will be watching it once we wrap this up. Um, I plan on getting both eyes or all four eyes, if you want to add the other two, on the game and um, getting to it. And, and, and hopefully I see some good nuggets out of that that give me hope and, um, you know, prosperity that they can get it done against the Clippers. But – no, man, the Clippers game is definitely, it matters more. Um, not just for L.A., but just as far as the Western makeup, it matters more. Whereas the Bucks, they won't have to worry about seeing the Bucks anyway. You will have to go through the Clippers to get to the Bucks. So that's why I think that Clipper game is going to matter more, and we'll see. Yep, both games are, both games are important. And I think for the Lakers' confidence and psyche, you got to remember, with both these teams so far, the Bucks and Clippers, they're 0-3 so far. They've lost to the Clippers twice, and they lost their first game against the Bucks. So I think if you if you can't find a win, if you wind up losing both of these games, I think that's devastating. As 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 great as the Lakers have been this season, they still got a really nice cushion out there for the top seat uh, top seed out West. But I mean, they, they, if you lose both these games, the Clippers could be within three games of you, and things can get dicey for that number one seed. Mm-hmm. So, but when it's all said and done, I, I do agree. I think the Clippers game is more important than the Bucks game. 
And it, and it goes back to one of the uh, final things you said. I mean, you got to get through the Clippers to get to the Bucks, who we, we presume are going to be waiting for you. So, I mean, even if you can get the Bucks, it ain't going to mean much if you can't you know, beat the team that shares the building with you. And, that, and that, that's why, that's another reason it's important. This is a team that shares the arena with you. I mean, it, that, that's why we've been referring to it, the Battle of L.A. And you think about, like, the Clipper-Laker history. We've said this um, from time to time. We, we've never seen Laker-Clipper games like this. For years, like, the Clippers have been the down team, and they couldn't get it together, and the Lakers just dominated. And then recently – at the tail end of the you know Kobe Bryant era, and then you know Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, the Andre Jordan. It's been the Clippers that have had the oh, upper hand. It. Yep, the Clippers had the upper hand, and now this is really the first time that the Lakers have been up and the Clippers have been up. And throughout this season, as this series has as this season has progressed, there have been three teams that have stood out above the rest: the Lakers, Clippers, and Bucks. And the Lakers head to head so far, it ain't pretty. So. I think you you definitely need one of these games, and if you lose to Milwaukee tonight, and you get the you uh, you can beat the Clippers on Sunday with the Clippers at full strength now, I think that'll mean a lot more than beating the Bucks. But as I said, man, you lose both of these, it gets dicey out there because you only got one more chance against the Clippers in the regular season. And I'm not saying it'd be impossible if you don't beat them in the regular season. The Lakers, the Lakers still got a better chance than anybody else in the West to beat the Clippers. But it's just for the sake of confidence and belief. I mean, we got to see something in the regular season to, like he said, give Laker fans hope and belief that you can get this done. Yeah, y'all are, y'all are absolutely right. You know, it's the, the weekend kind of shows you're going to get to see not only your potential Western Conference final preview, but then potentially your NBA finals preview. And, and these are two teams, again, you're going to have to beat in a seven-game series. And to date, you haven't done it once. So you haven't really been that close in any of the games, you know. So the, the Clippers game is obviously, I think y'all are right, the more important game because – the narrative around it again, the LA versus LA, they're your measuring stick, the end, your yang, the team you're always compared to the media narratives, your little brother, big brother, whatever. I mean, that's been the story from the start, the whole off season, AD, Kawhi, et cetera. Everything has been about that. And both times you've gotten got now the one, the first game was real early in the year. And these are two different teams now. I mean, th these teams have both changed a lot and kind of their little, arms race they've been having with each other uh seems like the clippers got more arms than the lakers did but hey um you know in, in both matchups with the clippers kawhi has gone off i mean he's had he's averaging more than two um they did and they, they they feel like the team that's not settled you know whereas the lakers felt like they were kind of rolling with what they had and you've got it now where your post deadline your post buyout but at the core, it's still two stars versus two stars. You know, Paul George and Kawhi versus LeBron and AD. But as we talked about before and even earlier in the show, man, you start peeling back the onion, you get to three, four, five, and it's like, boy, yep. uh, you start getting some, you know, the, the Lakers got some nice. Six, nights, seven. Pieces. But you just continue again. You continue down the list and you just, you wonder if the, the Lakers have enough gas to keep up. Now, I think Lakers – Defense-wise, they're one of the teams that can really kind of hang with the Clippers, and they're built where I think the matchups are close. But when you look in that, like, you know, third best, fourth best, fifth best range, I think it's where the Clippers really get an advantage over the Lakers. Uh, we were talking about guys like Lou Williams and Harrell over guys like Bradley and Kuzma, you know, that, that kind of like second tier of, of guys. So if you you got to find a way to, to mismatch. And Anthony Davis is one of the keys there, but both the games he's been nice, but he hasn't really had that like dominant performance you would hope he'd have. So that matchup specifically is going to be an interesting one to watch to see how the Clippers handle him now with Morris in the lineup and some other guys, how they're going to throw other dudes at him, you know. And then the Bucks is kind of the same storyline. You get the second best player advantage by a mile, but then you go on that list, it starts looking a lot more bleak. Um, so overall, you know, in the first matchup, you had uh, Danny Green and uh, KCP. They put in some work. Um, but it just, again, your bench had four points in that game. Well, that's come on. <laughs> Got to get those numbers up. Uh, and, and, and of course the wild card for the Lakers is worth mentioning. And Markeith Morris is here now. That's probably your biggest acquisition you made. Let's see how he factors in. Cause you haven't had him for any of these games. But, yeah, overall, man, if the Lakers break both these games, you got to start to worry. I mean, as good as you've been this regular season, against the more quality opponents, it hasn't been as, as peachy. And 
you, you got to get one of these because if you don't, these fans are going to get a little restless and it's going to start creeping into the psyche a little bit of, I don't know, can we really do this? And, and you got LeBron, you got a chance. He's, he's drug way worse teams further, but <laughs> it's, it's getting, that's going to be rough to, to have this weekend be 0 and 2. So maybe they'll get it done. We'll see.